This video is sponsored by Enya Music. Hey everybody, it's Katie with One Music School. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Today we're going to be learning three campfire songs that only have two chords, which are perfect for the beginner. So well, first I'll teach you how to play the song, and then there is a full play along track where you can sing and jam along with me. Let's get started. The first campfire song that we have is the Hokey Pokey that features the D chord and the A7 chord. Now we have our D chord, we have all three fingers in a row. Fingers one, two, and three are going to be on the second fret of the G, C, and the E strings. And then for the A7, what you could do is you could lift off fingers one and three, slide over to the first fret, almost said second fret, <laughs> it's the first fret of the C string. Or what you could do is that you could just take finger number one and place that on the first fret of the C string. Whatever transition is going to work for you, work it out, try a few things, see what works for you. Now, if you look over here at the graphics, we have a D chord you can see for three measures and then an A7 for four measures and then a D for one measure. You can see that, so follow along right here. To demonstrate, I'm just going to strum down one, two, three, four, and then you can get into a different strumming pattern. I will demonstrate that next. So first we have our D chord. One, two, three. You put your one hand in. You put your one hand out. You put your one hand in A7. And you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. D, two, three. You put your one foot in. You put your one foot out. You put your one foot A7. And you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Two, three, four. If you want to spice things up a bit, I'm going to be using the strumming pattern down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. This is called the island strum, if you're not familiar with it. And each down, down, up, up, down, up is going to be equal to four counts or one measure. So the play along is next. I hope you enjoy. A one, a two, a one, two, three. Put your one hand in. Put your one hand out, you put your one hand in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your one foot in, you put your one foot out, you put your one foot in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your head in, you put your head out, you put your head in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Next we have five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. <laughs> All right. So we have an F chord and then we switch to a C7. So my F chord, I have finger number two on the second fret of the G string and on the first fret of the E string. And when I switch to my C7, you'll notice that C7 is on the first fret of the first string like this. So you see how that the F and the C7 have a fret in common? Do you see that? They don't have a string in common, but they have the first fret in common. Do you notice that my neck is not dropping or slipping? That's because I have this portion of my finger. It's resting. The neck is resting on the finger. Almost said the finger is resting on the neck. No, it's the other way around. My finger is supporting the uke neck this way. It's holding it up so that when I switch between my chords, my neck doesn't fall. Do you see that? So this acts like a cradle or a support. So find your F. Okay, now let's try switching to the C7. See my wrist pivots just a little bit like that? 
just like that. It's a very, very subtle motion. So give that a try as you're working through this song. So with five little monkeys, we have F for a number of measures, and then we switch to a C7. All right, follow along with me. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. C7. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more F chord jumping on the bed and then we go into four little monkeys three little monkeys and then we have no little monkeys so if you want to spice this up a bit what i would do is i would strum down 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 up down 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 up one two three four and one two three four and in the play along i'm going to be using this strumming pattern the down 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 up but you choose what strumming pattern is best for you right now okay play along is next one two one two three four five little monkeys jumping on the bed one fell off and bumped his head mama called the doctor and the doctor said no more monkeys jumping on the bed four little monkeys on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Two, two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. One little monkey jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No jumping on the bed. The next song is Icky Sticky Icky Sticky Bubblegum and it features the C chord and the G7 chord. So notice when I'm switching between my C and my G7, it has a string in common. So I'm going to slide over to the second fret. My index finger or finger number one will be placed on the first fret of the E string and middle finger on the second fret of the C string. And then when I go back to the C chord, I just slide my ring finger over to that third fret. It really helps to be able to know that it has something in common, those two chords, when you're switching between the two. So first we have a C chord. We're gonna follow along with the graphics over here. I'm gonna be demonstrating on down, 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 down. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, wicky sticky, icky sticky, bubble gum, G7, bubble gum, C chord, bubble gum. Oh, wicky sticky, icky sticky, bubble gum, G7 makes my hand stick to my. And then you choose uh, something like my hand, and you say, I pull it, and I pull them and I pull them away, and then you repeat. If you wanna spice things up a bit, I'm going to be using the strumming pattern down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. This is called the island strum, if you're not familiar with it. And each down, down, up, up, down, up is going to be equal to four counts or one measure. So the play along is next, I hope you enjoy. Oh, I've got Icky sticky, icky sticky, bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Oh, icky sticky, icky sticky, bubble gum makes my hand stick to my knees. And I pull them, and I pull them, and I pull them away. Two, three, four. Icky sticky, icky sticky, bubble gum. Makes my hand stick to my shoulder. And I pull them, and I pull them, 
and I pull them away. One, two, three, oh, icky sticky, icky sticky bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Oh, icky sticky, icky sticky bubble gum makes my hands stick to my you. <sighs> Hey, if you're ready for the next step, I have a playlist of songs that I think that you would enjoy. I'm going to put it over here and I will see you in the next one. And remember, you are loved. Bye. Hi, baby. How you doing? I saw a spider and then a spider was on it. Okay, I'll find it. It'll be okay. Yeah, it's good. I'm almost done filming, okay? Okay, baby. <laughs>